folks? This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. It's going to be a big one. We get the Fed coming in. That's going to be a good one. See where this baby's going. See where they are going to take these uh, interest rate structures. No doubt about it. Don't make assumptions. Right. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 238, NASDAQ off 202, S&P's down 48 gold. Gold contract down $7.90, trading at 1937 an ounce. We got silver up four cents, $23.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a of buck 91, $77.77 a barrel notes and bonds. A 10 year note trading down 10 ticks, 114.09, the 30 year down 13 at 129.24 and king dollar. King dollar right now is trading up 349 ticks at 102.275. Euro is at 108. Yen is trading at 130.51. And the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get a, you're backing down. The Fed's going to be coming out with a statement Tuesday at, uh, Wednesday rather, at 2 p.m. And then they will have a press conference at 2.30. So if we take a look at the SPY, you get 44 million shares. Well, first off, the SPY couldn't make it to its swing high. That says quite a bit. The swing high we're talking about is 410, 49. That had volume of 123 million shares on Friday. We get up to 408, uh, 40, yeah, 408.16 with 68. So see, 68 million going against 123, it's tired. Now, today what we're doing, we're backing down with light volume. And, you know, bottom line, when you back down with light volume, you know, that is basically a bullish setup. That being said, however, by I suspect you're gonna close, well, well let's go look at the S&Ps, uh, the e minis first. I suspect we're gonna close at the lows. So you get a different ball game when you're closing at the lows. And we have till tomorrow to see if they can get any juice on the way down here. So if we take a look at this intraday right now, the low of the day, which has been 4035, has volume. So this is not finished on the way down. That's the bottom line. And I thought this would be interesting. This might be monster ABC down. It is an ABC down. Okay, so what is this number? That's 4109. And that's, so you got a 69.8 A to B. That gets you to 4010. Yeah, we got an ABC down, man. You got an ABC down. So that's 4010 inside of the S&Ps. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, uh, bottom line, what the NDX did, finished off its ABC structure on the way up, failed on price and volume on Friday. Now, this is pulling back with 36 million, and we'll probably do about 46. So the, the volume's a little bit heavier on the, in this one right here. If we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs, the active contract right now, see where this baby is. Okay. So, yeah, so this, from this morning, this is a high volume low. So that's this, we're not done here either. So 11,982 is gonna get challenged. We're only 10 points away from it again, but that's gonna, that's gonna get challenged. Gold, gold contract out here. You get a sideways move in the, inside the gold contract. You do have light volume. Um, we'll see how this baby holds up when the Fed comes out or coming up to the Fed, because it looks to me like this dollar is really starting to bounce right now. Uh, GC, GC, come on, baby, here we go. Okay, so you get 131,000 contracts. I know we had much higher volume when we had highs, so let's just see what we're going into here. Whoa, hold it, I guess not. Hmm. I see, because we're rolling. Well, let's see how this shakes out tomorrow. 
Because what, what you have here, because we did a roll to, where well, the volume may, always matters, but we did a roll, I know what to do, one second, we go to the GLD, this is how you want to do it. We go to the GLD, we take a look at the GLD. Yeah, it's got light volume. You're pulling back with light volume. That's the bottom line. Uh, on Friday, what we did, we did uh, 6 million shares, you're only doing 3.5 million shares today. Let's get to the oil contract and take a look at oil, because what we do have is that if this uh, dollar keeps moving, we'll see these commodities get hit. Yeah. So oil failed at the swing point, and you get volume out of this today. So we're going back down the other side of the consolidation. Oil loves trading the consolidations, man. You can trade it for long periods of time. The bottom of this consolidation is at uh, $70.56. Right now you're trading at uh, $77.74. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got Tesla down $8.50. We have... Uh, Carvana up uh, two dollars and forty-five cents, back from the dead. Apple's down two seventy. We have uh, let's see, uh, Rivian's off a of buck sixty. You get Facebook off three eighty-two. You get Alphabet off uh, two thirty-seven. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise, this is what we have out here. You have uh, Goldman Sachs putting thirty-three positive points. Uh, American Express 14, IBM 6, taken away from it. Johnson & Johnson's the big mover. That's a negative 44. You get Microsoft negative 36, Chevron's negative 35. And in Johnson & Johnson's case, folks, okay, they lost the case. Uh, they were trying to bankrupt uh, one of their divisions because of 40,000 cases uh, of uh, cancer for the, uh, maybe 400,000 cases. This is a monster ABC down. Blowing away the B point, has the volume behind the move. Um, this thing's going lower. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Well, Rally Automotive is up 2.5%. We get paychecks up 1.6%. Heinz Craft is up 1.1%. Taken away from it. Lucent Motors down 8.3%. Rivian 8.1%. Pinduoduo do 69 And JD 5.9%. You gotta love this market, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you had all the electric vehicles going higher last week, folks. Now they're getting. Toasted and roasted. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 221. NASDAQ is off uh, 207. S&P's off 46. We'll come right back.